Certainly, people, population, nation. Now, I recorded a video uh, about a week ago, something like that, talking about female writers. How over the years I've watched some programs, films, series, uh, some you know, science fiction stuff, some fantasy. And when I found out that it was written and produced or directed by, uh, you know, a lady, and I was like, wow, that was really good. I was quite surprised. And there are many talentless, uh, talentless, very talented females out there doing brilliant stuff, but because of DEI and how things have gone there's just so many more now females that are basically getting hired to fill quotas or check boxes and I've, I've noticed like there's a certain pattern to a lot of stuff like sometimes you don't even have to know anything about it I watched something the other week with my partner and it was all right you know I started getting into it but at one point I said this this is obviously been wrote by a woman and they've obviously got female and producers and directors involved as well and my partner was saying, how can you tell? And I said, I said, it's how the men are behaving. They're not behaving how men would behave in that situation. It's very bizarre. It's almost like how a certain type of woman would react in that situation and they're projecting it onto men. Um, and I've also noticed, like, with the... Um, Perfect example, Lord of the uh, not Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power season two, all directed cast, and a few other things were, uh, and like the acolyte, how stuff seems so small. Like um, you get a lot of close-ups and and, uh, and a lot of like filler standing around talking and and, and that, and. All it's doing is, is it's, it's, it's basically giving women a, a bad name and it's not just me saying this, I'm not bigoted, I'm not a misogynist or anything like that. Like I say, I have seen some fantastic stuff written and produced by females, women ladies, whatever you'd like to be called, you know, nowadays, uh, you, you know, you don't know if they're non-binary or trans or whatever. Um, well, I took a snippet out of uh, a video Despru had made on about the female writers on this war of Rahiram, on about the female character it was like they've got this epic story of like two families going to war and how tragic it is and how good that could look and drawn out but there's a a, a female that's unknown she was that insignificant that Tolkien didn't even give her a name and this female writer was like I want to know her story and I'm just thinking, well, they're just going to ruin this, and it's not going to actually be about the War of the Rehiram. It's going to be about this girl boss. And just play a little clip now. To fight for my king. I'm the fastest rider you have. People need hope here. Hera. Hera. Need to believe it. 
I also knew she'd be a hero as well before I'd seen the trailer the first time. So it's another common thing with uh, these modern female writers. They seem to be have a very limited names. I, I knew she was going to be a Herod or a Freya, and she was going to be the girl boss, and she was going to be the faster rider, and some, you know, like. Um, She's going to be better than the, the, the warriors. And I know we're talking fantasy, but it's based on medieval like mythology for England and how things were in them days. It was a brutal world where men went to war. And instead, a modern-day lady who has only got there because she's got next to nothing... No experience or credit. She hasn't grown up um, loving fantasy and watching this stuff. Uh, and she just got the box and made a tip box. And uh, and, and she'll say for a modern audience and stuff like that. And I was watching FNT Friday nights. Gary Buchler, Bu Bu I think his name is, who runs it, um, the channel like. And he and he, he, he comes straight out with me, and I I, I I just knew it straight away. He, he said he he'd seen it. He didn't really want to go into spoilers, really. But he said, what you get from the trailer is basically what you're gonna get. It's she's just gonna. It's just a girl boss doing girl boss things, putting the men to shame, and I was like. Yeah, I thought it would be. He's been confirmed. Another female writer, you know, with next to nothing to her name, that shouldn't be involved with these products, uh, productions or anything. Uh, I mean, there's two men on the on the writing team as well, and and, and they're just there to make up the numbers as well. But yeah. Well, they're here and dead on arrival. It's just going to be something that I've seen so many times before. We're just using another franchise to insert a strong, powerful woman. Uh, if thanks for listening. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, it's a free thing you can do, but it puts a big smile on my face. Uh, and it all makes it worthwhile, thank you very much.